How well does the Jade general build perform in the middle game and the middle game paralogs? Let's find out. So I'm going to have her enemy phase these boys with a tomahawk. Let's see how she does. They should attack her. Her defense isn't high enough, at least yet, with resolve uh, for them to skip her. So they should go for her. So she can just sit there and meditate. And then for the rest of these units, we'll just have them do whatever. Just kind of prepare to dive some enemies. All right, so here's Jade's tanking. All right, I got Fractured, which I don't think works. Oh, you can't break a general with Fracture. That's dumb. That's like the entire point. <laughs> you don't get broken. Whatever. All right, so she's enemy phasing these enemies, putting some good damage on them. She put two down to half. Uh, she would have put three if it weren't for the Fracture, but I didn't think that could break me. So I guess we learned that today. So here is the power of Jade initiating. She can completely one-shot this dude with Silver Great Axe plus three. That's pretty good. Uh, she can also initiate and kill these. And right now Resolve has her defense so high. She's at 37 defense. So these enemies barely deal damage or they deal no damage. So she could actually just do this. Now one thing I could have done... I'm going I'm to set this up and show it. I could have set up a Great Aether, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pulse and I'm gonna show that. Let's see what kind of Great Aether we can get. This position is kind of weird because it's a bunch of flyers, so they're not gonna really ball up around me. But I should be able to get at least like two of them, so let's see. Yeah, one of them's far away, so if he goes here I can hit him, but these other ones might try to wrap around me and might actually get around me, so we'll see. They're gonna ignore me because my defense gets too high, so that's actually a problem. But if it's land units and they bottleneck at a choke point, then you're fine. All right, let's see what we got. Nice! I think we got all of them. Hell yeah, dude. This should one-shot all of them. Yeah, look at this. Oh yeah, she does have Axe Power 4 now. All right, so that's... And the, the nice thing about Great Aether is that doesn't use your turn. That can be better than enemy phasing a bunch of things because it does huge damage guaranteed there's no it can't miss it heals the unit and then you can also use that unit and it makes you more tanky so it's it's, it's essentially like this counter attack thing it's like an aoe that sets up a turn so now i killed three enemies <laughs> with the silver great axe now obviously she's running axe power four and eventually axe power five this is to keep her tomahawk one shotting like mages and to keep the Silver Great Axe one-shotting most enemies. And then she also could potentially roll into crits on this Killer Axe. Here we are in Chapter 16, and Jade is able to one-round a lot of things with pretty good accuracy. And obviously, if these thieves were on Avoid Tiles, it'd be a different situation, but... She's doing pretty well. She's still contributing. She's tanking a lot of things. Some of these are, like, kind of lower-level enemies anyways, but we'll see how... I mean, level 20, that's not too low that's like almost master that's above like a master class right that's like a master class level 10 essentially because that's what level 20 is usually but she's doing pretty well she's tanking very well i did get her axe power four and i do want to get her gentility and that will finish up the build so she will take minus five damage from physical and magic making her even tankier on ike and then when you factor in resolve she could be pretty much unkillable like once she gets resolve plus if she's at like 75% with gentility plus as a passive, she's going to be very hard to damage at all. So she'll just be able to walk up to enemies and smack them for free. And if anything does attack her, she could tomahawk on enemy phase. She could also silver great axe enemy phase. Uh, but so far, this looks like it's promising for endgame. Let's see where Jade is at in chapter 17. Let's park her right here and give her her weapon. And she's not even going to engage. Let's see what she can do. All right, so there's three axe enemies. Look at that, perfectly lethal damage. That's amazing. You'll love to see it. Look at this. She starts triggering Wrath too. All right, here's a level up, pretty nice. Strength plus, dex plus, speed, defense, and res. That's, that's literally all you want, and of course health. All right, now she's doing 59 damage, that's nice. <laughs> Look at this dude, this is actually really solid. 
So this is her just enemy phasing three things without even Ike popped. And she doesn't even have her build finished yet. She's still missing Axe Power 5. And she's still missing Gentility. So this, this is turning out pretty well. It's safe to say this Jade tank thing is working out. She's basically able to solo all of these reinforcements on Ike pretty easily. As long as they can't get to the rest of my team, they're just going to surround her and attack her. She takes almost no damage from them. And she's just been killing tons of them, almost one-shotting all of them. And for reference, none of my other units can one-round these. Like, even on Magic, these Paladins have pretty high speed. Most of my units do double them, but they also have good durability. Enemy Paladins tend to be hard to kill in this game without, like, effective weaponry. So, for example, if I have uh, even Kagetsu. So, like, here's Kagetsu attacking with a Rapier. Well, hold on, let me have him attack. They have abilities that prevent doubling in some cases. Uh, okay, so that's Lance Breaker. Right, let's see what he can do. Yeah, he's not even that fast, surprisingly. <laughs> he's, he's pretty fast, but he's not... So here's like what Kagetsu can do <laughs> against these, for reference. And then here's Chloe. She does have Speed Taker Lin. Here's her Unleavened Sword, so she can't one round these either. So that's not really a knock against Jade here, but honestly, this result is pretty good. And she can actively seek things out and like smack them. So she's putting in a lot of work. Honestly, this build is just going to keep getting better. Once she gets Axe Power 5 and as she keeps leveling up, she's going to stay a monster. And there's really no reason why she wouldn't, right? Because her defense value is high, she's going to get Gentility long term. I can have my other units clean up her tanking if I want. Get them some level ups and XP. But she's pretty, pretty cracked. I will do another follow-up video for the endgame maps, but at this point in time, I think it's safe to say that her early to middle game is solid, and as we're entering the late game, she's putting in a lot of work and getting a lot of kills, and easily tanking things on Ike. So yeah, that's it for this one. Um, I'll make a third follow-up as we hit endgame, but overall this build is popping off, it's doing really well. It's definitely worth running, and it's potentially like low S tier. The other thing that's nice about it is you can just Tomahawk Mages on player phase, and you can also Ike Tank Mages with Tomahawk. So, like, there's versatility. You could also use Ragnall if you wanted. The damage isn't as good, uh, but, you know, because Tomahawk is going to be higher base damage. The accuracy on Ragnall isn't bad, but, yeah, definitely like and subscribe, and I'll see you next one.